surprise live. Um, I just thought I'd hang out and seal this doormat with you guys. I did some of it on TikTok, but I thought, eh, I should hang out with YouTube. Uh, so I need to turn this, so I'm probably gonna bump you. I'm gonna try really hard not to. Um, but I need to turn it so that I can reach the words without uh, bending over the people. So yeah, so we're going live. We're gonna seal with some uh, flex seal. So I'm actually gonna start at the other end. So I'm gonna take you guys over there with me because I wanna start at this end because it's easier for me if I can like start down here. That way I'm not like leaning my hand and my arm like in it. So I'm just gonna take some flex seal. And all I wanna do is paint in the letters. I've already done these with both acrylic paint and black flex seal, but I like to add an additional layer of clear because that will hopefully get any spots that I missed with the black. And then um, I want to seal it with the clear spray. So there's quite a bit of um, sealing involved in this. Hey Winnie, how are you? Yeah, so we're just, you know, hanging out, listening to some Halloween jams, getting into the season spirit here and sealing some letters. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys wanna see like a full tutorial, I have a couple of tutorials where I do make um, mats on my YouTube channel. So you can absolutely check those out. I am good just sealing this mat. This part is like the process part. This takes forever, but I really want this mat to last. I don't want it to get damaged. Um, this is actually not a mat for me. This is a mat for one of my besties that I've known like my whole life. Her and I have gone to many a Disney concert. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hope all is well in Deborah's world today. Um, we are just sealing this mat and jamming to some Halloween tunes. We've got some theme songs from Halloween movies. We've got some spooky sounding songs, you know, all the things. But if you guys have a Halloween song suggestion that I should add to my playlist, let me know. Um, I've got like werewolves in London. I've got calling all the monsters. Um, trying to think what else is on here. There's a bunch of stuff. Theme from Halloween. I think this is the theme from Halloween remix version. So there's a bunch of different versions. So as you can see, all I'm really doing, and I'm not really painting super careful. I'm just making sure that I've covered 99% of the letter. Um, this one right here, this B got a little screwed up. Um, the stencil moved. So with that B, what I ended up doing was I cut some of the core away, the mat, and then all I did was took a baby wipe and kind of rubbed it right there to just give it a B little hole again. But, um, you know, it's fine if it doesn't, you know, look perfect. It happens. Nobody's perfect. She will understand. She's not like expecting this to be, you know, the Taj Mahal of mats. Um, the original mats I used, tried to use, I should say, were Walmart brand. And let me tell you, do not recommend. Um, this one is the Home Depot mat from Traffic Master. And this one worked fine. The Walmart mat, I couldn't even get the vinyl to stick to it. Uh, hi, Susie. How are you? Um, I just was not a fan and would definitely not recommend that mat ever to anyone. So don't get the Walmart ones. Um, these were actually the same price, maybe a dollar more, but totally worth it. And these are the ones from Home Depot from Traffic Master. I ordered these online and had my husband pick them up. And I was like, oh, thank God they worked. I was having like a panic attack because I really wanted to get this done for her, but I've been so busy and just a lot of stuff going on. So I didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm hoping that I can get it at least mostly done today and then potentially seal it first thing in the morning with the spray. And then what I want to do is once I get it spray sealed, let it dry, and then I can hopefully get it to her, but I don't want to move it until it's like fully dry because you don't want to damage it at all. So it's a process when you make these, it does take quite a bit of time to do them because there is so much sealing involved. And then plus like a lot of dry time too. You gotta let it dry in between your like layers. Um, you gotta let your, cause I do acrylic paint and then I paint over that with um, black flex seal, but you need to let it dry between those layers. And then I go through and I paint it with the clear flex seal. So I did seal their heads and I know the can's sitting on them, but I think it'll be okay. Um, but I did seal like the hair and then now I'm just gonna seal the um, 
words. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Happy All Hallows Eve. This is Halloween Eve. Anybody doing something fun for Halloween? Any trick-or-treating? Handing out candy? We go to my mom's because we live really far off the road and we don't get trick-or-treaters here. And my mom gets some. She doesn't get a lot, but she gets some. So we, we're going over there to spend some time with her. So that'll be fun. I'm going to be wearing my Harry Potter robe and probably put a lightning bolt on my head. That's usually like the easiest costume that I have. I got the robe when we went to Universal and I don't really get to wear it. So this is like the perfect excuse <laughs> to get to wear that thing because she was expensive. Um, but listen, if I was going, I was going and I was going to wizard it up. And I wanted to be a full-on wizard and enjoy every second of it. And so I did. And I wore that robe and it was hot and I didn't even care. All right, I'm going to move you guys so I can get to the I wanna part because I at least want to get some of that one sealed before I move over again. So what I do is I kind of do it in like little sections. I don't do just like one line at a time. I do like sections. So I'll do like this section and then I'll move over again and do another section. I just find it helps keeping my hand out of the sealant. So you can see that the paint's dry because there's like no paint on my um, mat. Hi, Lizzie. How are you? Um, it's just an easy way to do this. But if you guys have any craft questions, let me know. I've been working on some tutorials. I've had kind of a, a block with one of them. It's just not been working. And it's the software issue I'm having is, I'm sure it's me. I just got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to work on a new Silhouette Cameo video and it's just something's not cutting right and I can't figure out why so I'm sure it's a me thing because it's not tracing the PNG correctly so I need to go back and figure out what's going on with that because I was going to do like a compare Ooh, definitely wasn't dry right there see that black on there see a little bit of black it's not dry in that W but that's okay just don't we won't mention that it's okay if it's not completely dry um, as long as you're like just careful to stay in the letters and then you're just careful like with any like you're not going super deep into it because you want the flex seal to kind of sit on top a little bit more than anything like you don't need it to like go into the letters and everything I am good I'm just kind of trying to get some of this done today um so that I can get it to dry so hopefully I can seal it tomorrow it's gonna be really cold so I'm gonna have to seal it in the garage um, I've been meaning to do this project for like forever. Ooh, good, good Halloween jam. But I did just finish painting these letters like two hours ago. So they're probably still a little damp, um, but they'll be okay. Cause I'm going to let them sit overnight with the clear flex seal on them. And then they'll dry up really well. So I'm not really worried about them being a little wet. I did realize it just, I didn't get the sorry guys i know that's off screen i'm just getting this little apostrophe down here that i forgot in this section and then i'll move you guys all right i got it all right i'm gonna move you guys over a little bit so we can do the next little section so now like i said i do these in sections versus like whole words and stuff I just find it easier for me i could probably move the can over too but where's the fun in that Let's move the can so we can reach it better. I know you guys can't see the can now, but we've all seen what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to do a couple more letters and then I'll probably let you guys go. But this is pretty fun, right? Like this is a fun project that truthfully anybody can do. I just used some flex seal and some acrylic paint and some stencil. I used permanent vinyl as a stencil. Um, I used smart vinyl against my better judgment. Uh, which, let me tell you, was an absolute nightmare and would never recommend. But it did work eventually. It was just way more of a struggle than it needed to be, which is super frustrating. But yeah, so we're just kind of getting this sealed. And you can tell I'm not really painting it super careful because you don't need to. It's clear, number one. And number two, it's really just here to help hold this acrylic paint on. There's a lot of ways to do mats. And honestly, you do what works best for you and the way you want to do them. I've done them a couple of different ways. I've done them where I just spray with flex, black flex seal. Um, I've done them where I have painted with acrylic paint 
and then sealed with a clear spray. I actually used a Rust-Oleum clear spray. Those have all held up really well, but the ones that hold up the best are the ones that I do like this, where I paint them with acrylic and then I come through and I paint them again with the um, clear uh, flex seal. And then I also use black flex seal and then I spray them. So these ones are definitely the ones that last the longest, but they're pretty, I mean, honestly, do what works for you. There's not really like a right or wrong way. It's just what works best for you. And there's so many great tutorials out there. Um, Amy Makes That has a really good one with like a multicolored mat that was really fun. Um, I have a couple. So yeah, definitely check those out. Amy's are really fun to watch. I like her tutorials. She's super fun. She just released one too with like a Taylor's version NFL shirt that was really cute too. I thought that was super fun. And she did this really cute video with her husband where they did like a painted craft night. And it was so fun freaking fun like they just looked like they had the best time my husband is definitely not a crafter but he probably would do that with me if I asked him if I was like hey let's sit down let's have some snacks let's paint some stuff he'd probably do it but he's not big on being on camera which is totally fine like that's his prerogative um I'm never gonna make him do that but it would be really fun to do something like that just for us oh all right Thank you. This was actually like quite the struggle. Um, this was probably the craft that I've struggled the most on lately. Um, it was not the easiest. I had a lot of trouble because of the mat that I had to start with. It was not like a good quality mat. It was a Walmart one and I wouldn't recommend it. And then I couldn't get anything to stick to that mat. So I was getting real frustrated. So I had to walk away from it and get new mats. And now that I got the new mats, like way easier. Everything stuck fine-ish. Um, it was smart vinyl. So like, mm wasn't my favorite didn't work as well as I wanted it to but like it did work eventually it just was not easy to get stayed stuck down but you can see how much better like this mat looks pretty darn good so I would definitely recommend this one it is a traffic master brand from Home Depot if you need the direct link it's linked in my stories on Instagram um, and I think I linked it too in like the short that I did here on YouTube I think it's linked in the comments there somewhere somebody asked where I got it um so if you want to find that link there it's there too if you want to get the same mat because these work really well and I've tried tons of different mats but like this one is hands down the best so you guys do anything fun for Halloween handing out candy going trick-or-treaters treating with the kids what are we dressing up as? There's going to be a special surprise on um, my Facebook group. So if you're a member over there tomorrow, keep your eyes peeled. I want to say it's going to post about 10 a.m. Eastern time. Um, but keep your eyes peeled for that because that's going to be fun. You guys have a chance to win something. Because I've done a bunch of like Instagram giveaways and I feel bad because like I haven't done anything for um, Facebook in a while. So I want to do a Facebook giveaway for you guys. Um, it's a really fun one to participate right, I'm gonna try to get some of the residual gunk here yeah, this is pretty fun it's a like I said this is a really easy relatively fun <laughs> project it has its moments but like don't all projects honestly just trying to get some of the stuff around the rim of the um, paint can because as you know we always end up with like stuff in the edge of the paint can. So I just want to get some of that out before it dries. Just try to kind of scoop some of that out. By the way, Ed Sheeran released new <laughs> music. Would you like to hear it? No. Apparently Alexa felt the need to tell me that. Echo, shuffle my Halloween playlist. Shuffling your playlist, Halloween on Amazon. Music. Apparently it's not a very long playlist. Let's see. Handing out treat bags with items instead of candy. That's great. I love that idea. Yeah, it's definitely a process. And like the first time I made a, a doormat, it was an adventure, uh, a frustrating adventure. But I feel like that's true with like a lot of crafts. You really just have to go for it, try it. And the first one's probably not going to come out amazing. And that's okay. Um, it's totally okay because nobody's perfect. Um, everybody's got to try. Oh, this one, my face. This is my contact. Beep. 
and my bees. What you make you tell me you could not see? Yes. So we're just, just painting. That's all we're really doing for this. I mean, honestly, and like, you don't have to be a good painter. You just have to be able to like, kind of smack it on there and then just brush it on. I'm going to move you guys again because i got to move again a little bit. So let's do this bye-bye-bye. Now, I did already seal their heads, so that part is done. You can see I'm just just putting it on, you know? Nothing, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. And, like, honestly, like, you can pretty much just slap it on. Like, I'll get a big goop. Like, look how much is on that brush. Watch this. And then you can just spread it out. Like, honestly, you don't have to do this carefully. I do try to stay, like, somewhat in the lines. But, like, it's fine if you're not. That's the one thing. Like, this is a very forgiving project, which I love because... Sometimes you just don't want to have to, like, be precise. Um, it's forgiving this part. Um, but when you're doing, like, the letters and the stenciling, you do need to be careful. One thing that I always recommend is don't use a sponge brush and don't brush the paint on. You want to dab it on, so you want to, like, do it like this. And then I use a – it's upstairs now because I just washed it. But I use a stencil brush um, or, like, they call it a stippling brush as well. That's what I use to do the um, – stencil part because then the paint doesn't bleed which I think is like so much easier here come men in black best part of this movie the pug here come the men in black I haven't actually seen this movie in like a million years but song song is a bop I know you might see the posing it's for you it's for your own protection that you need not see and we be people that you need not be yeah such a good movie all right we got that one done all right my arm is about to fall off so i'm gonna actually take a break because this is like killing my arm um but i'm gonna go ahead and let some of this dry i might use a bit of a heat gun on it and i think i might need to heat gun this word a little bit more because it is still a little wet um, but thanks for hanging out. It was fun. <laughs> Listen to some Halloween jams with you guys. So I will talk to you all later.